Hi friends, Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. Today we're going to be going through the Your Creative Studio May box and making some time card pockets here that uh, you can put into a journal. And they're kind of gusseted pockets so that they're they're pretty big. You can put probably put a lot of stuff in there. But we're going to go through everything and then we're going to make these pockets. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the May 2022 subscription box from Your Creative Studio. And this one, I believe, has a bird theme, as it says right there. So let's just take a look. I'm just going to kind of go through everything uh, that's in here. This is a little thank you card, which I love that uh, Amanda puts those in there. And it says, the bluebird carries the sky on his back. That's a quote by Henry David Thoreau. That's really fun. Nice little bird quote there. So I'm just going to kind of go through everything. Um, I'm not necessarily going to give a bunch of commentary <laughs> on it, um, but I want you to see what's in the box. So um, there's, looks like this is a stack of tickets. They're stapled together for Chicago Stadium. Who doesn't love a good ticket? And this looks like um, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what this is, some sort of label, but if you see at the bottom here, I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm going to take one of them off. This is fun because it has little tear offs. So you can, you know, tear off these little pieces and have like little illustrations or stamps. These would be perfect to add to collage, to kind of pull everything together. So those are really cute. Bird stickers. These, I don't know what this is looks like some kind of papers. I never know if it's uh, stickers or paper. This one looks like it's all just paper, but that's fun. Um, lots of handwriting here. So that's really cool. I like some of the ones, um, like these in the front here. I don't know how many of them are like that, but some of them that are a little bit lighter that you could, you know, write on top of if you wanted to. Um, but I love that these have a lot of handwriting on them. So that's fun. It's a couple looks like ledgers and they, gosh, they look like, I don't even know if any of them are repeated. It's hard to tell there. It doesn't, almost doesn't look like it. Some music paper. Yeah, it kind of looks like they're all different, <laughs> which is kind of neat. Actually, I, I did find a double. So these two are the same, but they really aren't the same because they're on different, you know, colored paper. So, so that's fun. And this wasn't sure what this was. I thought maybe a notebook. Oh, I think maybe it is. Oh no. Is this, oh, it is, it's, it is a notebook, but it just has little pictures in it. That, I love the colors on this. That's really pretty. And definitely the illustrations of the birds and stuff. That's really neat. But then you can just, you know, tear off the ones that you want. So that's a nice little, uh, cool little package that's in there. Got some washi tape. And this one does have um, the bird on it. So it has the matching, you know, illustrations here. You can see that's the same bird on there. And then this one looks like it says note bar sticker. It kind of looks like it might be like washi tape, which I think would be fun. But I don't know if it's like opaque or not. It looks like it has torn edges, which is pretty cool. So, it, you know, you don't have to tear the edges. And it looks like it is opaque. It's not see-through, but that's okay. That's um, Those are always fun to have around. They make really easy, quick um, accent pieces. And we got more little pieces in here. Let's see. These are a bunch of different illustrations, but I think these are stickers. They feel like stickers. Let's see, I'll just... Uh, Grab one here and just see. I don't know if it said if it was a sticker or not. The hardest part is, you know, trying to get the backing off of a sticker. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, and these are a little bit see-through, so that is really fun. I like that. All right, and then we got some stamps, and we've seen these before, but these are probably stickers as well. I don't know if it says, yeah, it says postage stamp stickers. So... I'll just quick kind of flip through them so we can see kind of the different um, pictures. Looks like butterflies, lots of butterflies, more butterflies, mostly butterflies, but butterflies are great. I love 
I love um, accenting with butterflies. And then these are clear stamps. So these have been in, this kind of thing has been in these subscription boxes before, not these exact um, designs. But I like that there's a little leaf here with some berries and just some extra leaves. That's really fun. So these, all you do is you tear them off and these, wow, um, sometimes these haven't worked so good for me. Um, let me see if I can find my block. Well, I don't have one there, but I have just this little piece of acrylic here. So that would work really nice uh, for a stamp. So those are great. I love those. And they, like I said, they have nice designs on them. If I can figure out <laughs> how to put it back in there. All right. And then we have, let's see, this looks like some vellum pieces or maybe even napkin. It feels very light. Might be like napkin weight paper. Yes. And like napkin or tissue paper. Yes. It's kind of a little bit shiny on one side, probably more tissue paper than napkin, but I like those because those can be decoupaged and things like that. That's fun. And then our last little package here is, I don't know what, it says MO card. I don't know what that means. So let's pull it out and see what we got. Oops. This one is folded over, but it looks like, so that's a sticker. Looks like there's a bunch of stickers here. And some of these look like they're, they feel like they're probably see-through stickers, transparent stickers. These, anyway, let's see if I can get one of these apart. Yeah. Yeah. That's very, very light. I don't know if you can see my hand through there, but let's see if we can see a little... I don't want to get it sticky on there, but you can see the butterfly through there. So these are transparent, but then there's, looks like there's a bunch that aren't transparent, so that are more opaque. Those are fun too. And look, these um, have some fun shapes on them. Clocks, I love clocks. This looks like some sort of magnifying glass. This has a whole bunch of different things in there. So, so you saw the turntable before, and this looks like a little radio some papers. I'm not sure these are, these might be just cardstock. Boy, there's a lot of different, different things in this package. Yeah, these I think are just cardstock. A couple of those, and then this, ooh, it says scene creator. So you could, I guess, fussy cut some of these things. I don't know that they are already cut out. It looks like a sticker, but I don't know that I could fussy cut these all out. That's a, that's a lot of work for, I mean, really little pieces. Unfortunately, I don't have the patience for that. I thought I felt something, but yeah, I really don't think they're already, they're not already like, um, you know, kiss cut, fussy cut on here. Oh. Yeah, I'll be uh, trying to cut some of this out because you don't want to sit here watching me do this all day. Oh. Okay. I can't get the back off. It feels like it's probably a sticker, but it's really hard to, to say. But you could definitely cut out some of these pieces, but you can see just by my finger size, those are really small. I'm not sure I will be fuzzy cutting them out. And then there's another, um, some more papers. And these have an interesting texture to them, but they have all kinds of fun things on them. This looks like another one of those papers that uh, is probably a sticker, but... I couldn't peel it off. I wonder if I could do the washi tape trick. If you know what that is. Let's see if I can do that without messing anything up. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of washi tape and put one on one side. 
and see if I can. No, oh. it's trying to do the napkin washi tape trick. Oh, there we go. It did work. So that is a sticker under there. So this one, I would probably be a little bit more likely to fussy cut because they're a little bit bigger. <laughs> So, but those would be fun for like a planner or something like that. You could put, you know, days of the week or something like that on. That'd be fun. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, just, this looks like bigger papers, same texture as those other ones, just a lot bigger. This is another one of those sticker sheets. And this one has a bunch of labels on it, which is, I love labels. So that's fun. And then this looks like there's some twine in here. And this looks like um, a pillow box, maybe that you could actually you probably fold on this side first. I remember how to do these. I didn't quite get on the line, I don't think. Whoa. Let's see if I can do the other side. So yes, this looks like a pillow box. You fold it in on these curved edges here and then you can you know put things inside and you should be able to close it but because I bent it wrong this one isn't folding in as good here we go so there's a little pillow box and probably everything um, in here would fit not in the whole box but everything in that was in that package could probably fit in there and then you could give this away so that's Fun. Could be a little happy mail or something like that. And I think that is it. Oh, and there's these little, besides all the stickers, there's also these little um, kind of cardstock pieces that look like little tags that you could put. Actually, you could probably, maybe that is what this is for <laughs> to put on these little tags. So that's all the stuff. Let's see what we can make. All right. So I decided to grab some old time cards that I had. I have a big stack of these and I wanted to try to use them. So I thought I would try to make some um, time card tickets with all of the things found in the Your Creative Studio box. So right now I'm just trying to mark where the, the large papers, the large rectangular papers that I had come down on the ticket because I thought the bottom part I could fold up into a pocket. So I'm just marking those so that I know where to make my um, crease when I'm folding those up to make a pocket. All right, now I'm just grabbing my scoreboard and where I made those pencil marks, I'm just gonna score each one of my time cards so that when I fold them up, the top of my paper should be at the top of the time card. All right, so now I pulled out my paper cutter because I thought that the pockets were a little bit large. So I wanted to cut down maybe just two of them to have a little bit smaller pocket. I did leave one of them nice and tall um, just so I'd have one that was a little bit different than the other ones, but the other two I just cut down a little bit. All right, so for each tag, now I am gluing down the paper onto the time card. So I'm just putting the glue right on the time card up into the fold and around the edges. And then I'm just trying to center the paper on top of that so that I have a little bit hanging off of each edge. And those um, overhangs on each edge, I'm gonna be using to actually mount the pocket into a journal. All right, and because I am going to be using those overhangs, I'm just cutting off a little bit, a little triangle off the corner so that when I fold those sides in, they don't show. So I'm just cutting them all down so that they'll be ready to go when I wanna put them inside a journal. All right, now I'm just folding over those overhangs so that I can see sort of where the lines of my pockets are.
And now I'm heading to some of those smaller squares. I think they're about three inch squares of paper there. And I'm gonna use those for gussets on the sides of the smaller pockets. So I'm just picking a couple that are close to the same color tone of the background paper, but they're not exact. They really won't be seen too much, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to cut these into one inch strips. And so for two papers, I can get six strips out of them and that'll be perfect for making our gussets. And then I'm just folding each one of those one inch strips in half. All right, now I'm taking the strips and since they are a little bit larger than my pocket, I'm just measuring them to cut them down to be the size of the pocket. And then I'm going to cut little um, wedges off of these two so that when I put my gussets in, they won't show on the sides. So if you put gussets in with straight edges like that, um, sometimes they poke out the top and um, don't look very nice. So when you measure them the size of your pocket and then cut off two little corners on each side, it makes for a nice hidden gusset on each pocket. All right, and now I'm just gluing the gussets in. And to do that, I'm opening up the pocket and I'm putting the gussets, just gluing one side of that folded one inch piece of um, paper there and just putting it down on the inside of the pocket. So I'll just do that for each of them and let them dry. And then I'll come back in once they're dry and I'll put glue on the other side of the gusset that's sticking up. And then you can just fold that pocket up and you know, hold it in place until it grabs and then you have a perfect pocket. And of course, what kind of junk journaler would I be if I didn't add some distress ink? So I'm just distressing all the time card parts in case it shows. All right, so now we're going to do some decorating, and I just decided to grab some more of those little scrap papers and then also the bird pictures in the little notebook. They were really cute, and I thought the um, color tone of them matched well with some of the vintage papers. So I'm just, for this one, I'm just adding a little piece of, um, looks like just an old, you know, typewriter paper there, and I'm going to add some distress ink on it. And then I'm going to cut down the top of this bird um, paper so that he's closer to the top of the pocket so more of him shows. And then we'll put him down as well. And then when I'm happy with what I have there, I'm just gonna cut off the overhang so that before I add any other decoration, I kind of know exactly where everything is on the pocket. So I went back to the um, package of what looks like little torn pieces of washi tape. There was a bunch of different um, things I could choose and I tried to pick um, pieces that were a little bit contrasting to what I had on my pocket. So if I added something you know, um, I'm looking for something for the top now that contrasts pretty well with the um, top color of the paper that I have down. So, and um, I decided to kind of wrap some of them around the back so that they would, you know, kind of go off the paper there. All right, first one done. Now the second one, I pulled another one of those bird pictures out and I decided that I liked the whole thing for this one. So I decided to use it. <laughs> and since only part of it will fit onto the pocket, I'm just going to sort of cut it in half. Not quite in half, but where the top of the pocket is. And then I was trying to decide what I should put underneath it since the bird picture itself doesn't quite cover the whole time card. And um, there was only just a little bit on each side, so I just took this one piece of paper and tore it in half and put it on either side and left the middle open since that would be covered with my bird photo. So now I'm going to glue everything down there.
and I decided that I needed a little distress. The um, color of that paper was really bright, so I just wanted to add a little bit of brown to kind of pull things together, and I'm adding it to the papers that I'm getting ready to put down as well. All right, I'm grabbing my glue. I'm pretty happy with what I have cut here and the distress. And so I'm just adding glue and this will go on the front face of the pocket. And I'm trying to line it up at the very top edge of the pocket there. And then I'm going to take the other piece and glue it as well. And I'm just going to glue it to the back of the pocket so that it's almost like making a hidden opening. So I'm not gonna close the opening, but I'm just gluing it right to the top of the opening so it looks like the picture is still together, but the um, pocket is still open. And then I decided to add a few more pieces of washi tape there as well. All right, on to the third pocket. And I'm just looking through the little notebook to find another um, bird picture that I like. And that one that I looked at looked really nice to me. I think it matched well with the background paper. And this time I grabbed the washi tape from the subscription box and decided to use it on the edges. Since once again, those little um, bird pictures don't quite go to the edges of my time card, I wanted to have something kind of under underneath that. So I'm using the washi tape on either side. I'm tried to line it up with, with the top of the pocket as well as the side of the pocket. And you can see I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble doing that. So I had to kind of turn it around and face it towards me to be able to do that correctly. And then I'll um, cut the overhang off of there as well. And I'm going to cut off the excess on this last one. And then I kind of just took a look at all three of the pockets together and realized that third one needed something at the top. So I grabbed some more washi tape to put one more piece of washi tape on the top there, kind of cattywampus. And I like how they are all different, but yet they have the same um, elements and feeling so that they, they would go nicely in a journal together. And since these are going to be double pockets, I decided to do a thumb notch in the top of each one. So I just kind of marked the center for myself so I didn't miss the, miss the center. And then I'm just punching a little thumb notch in the top of each one so that when it's in a journal, you can kind of see that there is an, an additional pocket up at the top there. All right, and then I just wanted to show you how I would put it into a journal. So I'm just putting some glue on those little folded overhangs that I have. And I didn't show it here, I didn't do it here, but I also should have put glue on the bottom <laughs> to kind of close the bottom of the top pocket. So if you do that, then you would have two nice pockets here in your journal. So you can see I have just a little scrap piece of paper. You could make tags that go in there and you have two nice pockets made.
And there you have it, friends, some layered time card pockets with the Your Creative Studio subscription box. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had fun making it for you. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.